My name is Richard Tully and this video presentation will focus on the spring support conditions in RAM frame. To access the spring supports, if you go to the assigned pull down menu and go down to foundation springs, and here we have two options. The first one is to assign a spring support at a column stroke brace base. And the second one is to assign a spring support at a wall base. So let's begin by looking at assigning a spring support at a column stroke brace base. So if I select that, it opens up the dialog box shown on the screen. So the first option available here is orientation. And we have two options here. So the first option in this dialog box is to choose the orientation for the spring. So the orientation can either be the same orientation as the column. So under orientation, we have two options. The first one is to assign from a global x-axis. The orientation angle can be rotated about the global z-axis by a specified angle measured counterclockwise relative to the global x-axis. The second option under orientation is to orientate the spring in the same axis as the column. And this would be the default value for vertical columns. To the right of that, we have the assign stroke clear at column base and brace base. And this gives you the option to assign a spring support at the column base or at the brace base, and also to clear that column assignment at the column base or the brace base. Next, we come down to linear stiffness. So linear stiffness can be assigned about the global X, Y, and Z axis. Here you can input the stiffness value. So stiffness is the relationship between the applied force and the displacement the force produces. An example where the spring support may be necessary could be, for example, when you are applying ASCE 7, and in particular clause 12.71, which notes, for the purpose of determining seismic loads, it is permitted to consider the structure to be fixed at the base. Alternatively, where foundation flexibility is considered, it shall be in accordance with section 12.13.3 or chapter 19. Therefore, a linear load deformation behaviour of the foundation is allowed by clause 12.13.3, and this linear load deformation can be accounted for using the assign stroke clear foundation spring option. Next, we have the rotational spring option. And here we have two methods of applying the rotational stiffness. The first one, you can enter the stiffness value directly, or you can assign the stiffness value as a percentage of the column. First of all, the minor stiffness, or the column major stiffness, or the column torsional stiffness. And this is a method recommended for either the British code BS5950 or the Euro code. When using these codes, guidance is given by the Steel Construction Institute on rotational stiffness values to use when pinned or fixed foundations are specified. So reference should be made to SCI Advisory Desk AD97 for nominal base stiffnesses. You can also reference BS5950-1-2000 in section 5.1.3 for base stiffnesses. So SCI recommends similar guidelines to the ones given for BS5950 when using the Eurocode. For example, for a nominally pinned base, SCI recommends using 10% of the column stiffness when assessing frame stability or determining in-plane effective lengths and for using 20% of the column stiffness when calculating deflection at the serviceability limit state, again for nominally pinned bases. So in summary, the assigned stroke clear foundation spring dialog box can be used to adjust the base stiffness of columns to allow for the conditions where, firstly, for the condition where pinned bases will possess some degree of rotational stiffness, that is to say, be designated as nominally pinned bases, and secondly, for fixed bases to be adjusted to allow for the case where the actual foundation stiffness is not known. These adjustments will impact on the following. First of all, the effective length of the column, the elastic frame analysis, the elastic critical load factor calculations, and also the classification of the frames as sway or non-sway frame. And finally, at the bottom of this dialog box, we have the option to clear the foundation springs. Here we can clear a single spring or fence a number of springs 
or use the option to clear all springs assigned in the model. It should be noted that if a column is pinned at its base and rotational springs are defined at this base, then these springs have no effect in the analysis results as the pin base by definition does not transmit any moment. To activate the rotational springs, the column should be defined as fixed at its base and the appropriate spring stiffness then applied. Let's now have a look at the second option we had for assigning foundation springs. The second option related to assigning springs at a wall base. So here the stiffness per unit wall length can be entered. So vertical spring supports can be assigned to the nodes at the bottom of a wall. Here the spring supports can be assigned or removed as required. The lineal spring assignments are only in the global Z direction and note the program assumes that the wall sits on a continuous spring media. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.